There will simply never be another driver like Kimi Raikkonen. The personality, the expressions, and just the vibe you get from Kimi is really like no one else we've seen in Formula 1, and since he left the sport, I don't know, I feel like we're missing that. In a high performance sport like Formula 1, something where athletes are really pushing themselves in every aspect, physically and mentally, Kimi seems to get all the stereotypes of what a Formula 1 driver is and throws it out the window. There are so many well-known stories about Kimi Raikkonen and some that we have covered on this channel before. He's a driver that will make you laugh, but his intention is not to make you laugh at all. He's literally just being himself. And I think that's part of why so many people loved him and found him so funny. He was someone that could seem so uninterested, but still one of the best in F1. And to this day, the last Ferrari driver to win a world championship. So let's talk about the bender. Kimi Raikkonen went on a 16 day alcohol bender between two Grand Prix between the Bahrain Grand Prix and the Spanish Grand Prix, where he still managed to finish on the podium. Kimi Raikkonen is probably one of the only people that would do this. Not could do this, but would do this. I mean, who else would even think of doing that? It's the complete opposite to diet, training, and staying focused. I mean, Kimi went on this bender while other drivers were probably out running, doing some simulator work, and just training. He was a driver that was around for a very long time and he drove through numerous eras in Formula One. He was really part of the sport for such a long time and I think a lot of fans really did love him for that. And sure, he took some time off, had a sabbatical even and came back, made a team bankrupt, which really wasn't his fault. And he just seemed like someone that wasn't really bothered, but at the same time, he cared. He could be so focused on his driving at the same time, very methodical sort of driver. He was almost a surgeon on the track at times. Some of the most exciting and adrenaline rush type performances have been Kimi Raikkonen. Overtakes, moves, just ferocious, really aggressive at the same time and just really on his day, as good as anyone. But who drinks for 16 days straight between Grand Prix? I love old school drivers and I think that's why I really liked Kimi Raikkonen. I really appreciate that mentality. I think that's why when he retired, I was just so sad and disappointed. I felt like it was the beginning of the end for that breed of driver, that driver that still wears the baggy race suits while everyone's got them perfectly tailored. We still have Alonso as well, and I've also said that Max Verstappen, I think, has that old school mentality driver, or at least he reminds me of that attitude. And I think that that is so important with the current state of F1, and I think it is just refreshing. Seeing drivers not hold back, say some words that other drivers usually wouldn't say. It's refreshing in the era of, you know, such obvious PR training, saying the right things to the media, to the cameras. Whereas Kimi Raikkonen told Martin Brundle that he was late because he was taking a shit. Kimi, you missed the presentation by Pele. Yeah. Will you get over it? <laughs> yeah, I was having a shit. <laughs> We're just not going to see that anymore. And look, I don't want drivers telling me about their bowel movements in interviews. I'm not trying to say that. But that raw, unfiltered version of an F1 driver is just getting more and more rare. And I think more people are starting to see that. And it just makes us miss drivers like Kimi Raikkonen that much more. I think everyone in some way liked Raikkonen. Maybe you didn't find him funny, but I think everyone can agree his ability was exciting and something to be appreciated. There is no doubt that Kimi Raikkonen was the unintentional class clown, but still an absolute beast on the track. The last thing a driver wants to do after a crash or a spin is talk to the media. They don't even want to take their helmet off, but they get on with it. They smile. They just answer the question, but not Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi, what happened? I, spun. I think Ferrari fans in particular have a special sort of love for Kimi, the last driver to deliver us a world championship, and I still think his longevity is very impressive. I think you got to remember when Ferrari bought him back in 2014, he was there until Charles Leclerc jumped in and Kimi went off to Sauber. They switched positions. I think Ferrari really appreciated what Kimi could give to the team. I think he was a very valuable asset for Ferrari. I think he had a lot to offer and I still think he was very quick. Sure, he wasn't always winning races still in that time, but 
he was still a solid performer. And I don't think there was anyone begging for his retirement. I don't think anyone was saying, get rid of Kimmy, let's get some young guys in. Now, yes, he was replaced by Charles Leclerc, but he wasn't booted straight out of the sport. Kimi Raikkonen's personality will never be seen again in Formula One. There will never be another driver like Kimi Raikkonen. <laughs>